Welcome to the uh, ultra spiritual biohacking heart quarters here with the breaking normal freezer. Um, this is where I do my polar plunges. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I'd uh, recommend checking out breakingnormal.tv, the new blog I put up. And I mention a lot of information about it on the podcast and everything, and it'll obviously be in the upcoming book. But I wanted to take you through a little bit of the afternoon ritual and tell you about something super exciting. As you know, it was on this deck not too long ago when I announced the 10 all in video that thousands and thousands of people saw. Pursue our passion and get paid to do it. We got to rent an island off of Panama. We got to, to go to a beach house in Nicaragua and Costa Rica. We got to experience places we've never been, such as Steamboat Springs, Colorado and Traverse City, Michigan. And, uh, run a retreat in Maui at a retreat center in San Diego and our next one coming up in the Virgin Islands to start out 2015. So I just want to really thank everyone that has supported us directly by coming to our retreats or indirectly by just watching and sharing these videos. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough with my words. Um, and this is a great transition for what this video is about. Because of all hundreds of people reached out Funneled it down to about like 70, I think, or no, maybe about 50 applicants. And then we finally got the team of 10. And in reality, all of that turned into two amazing projects thus far. One being the book that will be, we're coming, we're coming to a conclusion with, uh, with my friend Samuel Hoover Poppy. Recognize or try out the idea that whenever you are speaking, you are praying. And whenever you are listening, you are meditating. Everything you say is a prayer. And even if it seems like no one is listening, God can hear every word. Conversely, whenever you are listening, listen closely because God is telling you something. Speak, then listen, listen, then speak. Number nine, get paid to do the things you love to do, the things you would pay to do, and or the things that you would continue to do regardless of whether or not you were getting paid to do them. Those things that make time and space disappear from consciousness are tied closely to your gift. You love to do them, and you give your love by doing them. Make the choice to live in that state of natural abundance, which is unavoidable in everywhere you look. Number 10. And then uh, the other one is the international tribe design that I've co-created with an epic team of people, including Frank J. Percaro, who was a 10 all in applicant. Let's do it. We're going to recap our last event, New Year's Evolution Fest, which was the first international tribe design project. Thank God that I was able to help facilitate that process because that was, if I'm gonna play the game of comparison, the most epic event that I've ever been a part of. And our next event, after hosting amazing events in Kauai, Hawaii. Incredibly magical, incredibly transformational. There was different types of individuals from all walks of life. We had athletes, authors, speakers, entrepreneurs, business owners, and then we had the, the individual that was just ready to grow and be in that, in that space. I'm ready for the next one in Byron Bay, Australia. About it and had a breakthrough that night and then that led on to another breakthrough and um, I, I feel freer than I've ever felt in my whole life. If you want to take it to the next level, if you're sick of all the bullshit, if you're sick of all the stress and you know, all the stories in your life you want to get rid of, you know, definitely come along. Um, there's so much more waiting on the other side of fun, comfortable. Um, I think I've connected more with the people at this retreat um, in four, four and a half days than I have with um, perhaps anyone ever, um, or at least in a very, very, very long time. And the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia. Level two. We decided, we'll go back to the freezer, get some lymphocytes going. Um, we've decided we're going to do the next event, and it's almost like a coming home for me because it's where my retreat business got started basically, is Costa Rica. The land of Pura Vida. And um, it's actually, we're going to start publicly announcing it maybe as soon as when this video comes out. It's January 3rd through the 7th on the epic 
permaculture farm that's actually owned and run and managed by an uncle of a past attendee, C.K. Koch, who will probably be joining us on this one. I think he is joining us on this one as well. And it's actually um, become so well known that Dr. Sanjay Gupta did a feature on it. And allegedly it's what Costa Rica is using to model their country's potential agriculture practices after. And as we know, the little that we probably know about Costa Rica is it's one of the uh, happiest countries in the world, especially based on how it interacts with its ecology and environment. So long story short, I have about 12 weeks. This is the right hook. That was some nice jabbing that I trust you enjoyed and I trust that you'll be in a freezer before you know it. Make sure it's unplugged so you don't get too electrified. But long story short, I have about 12 weeks until we'll I'll be kicking that event off. And in the spirit of ending the 10 all in, basically 10 all in is over officially, but we had the last six month period to do everything that we learned and finalize things such as the International Tribe Design, this will be our fourth event, the book and so on. So that gives me about 12 weeks to celebrate and rest. And I thought that I wanted to invite people, something I felt called to do. And once again, this is not for normal people. Um, so if you find yourself, uh, addicted to fitting in. This is probably not the program for you, but it's going to be a one all in program. A one all in program. I'm going to take on uh, one potential client a week where basically not only everything I've learned from 10 all in, but through this whole career of getting paid to pursue my passion and gallivant the globe with my family and friends and really be blessed by the highest. And I believe it's a product of surrendering to those synchronicities that want to live through us. And this is my invitation for someone to surrender to their passion and do a one all in, one week passion project where um, we're going to be basically, whatever your dream vision is, we're going to be taking the most amount of best and massive action to make your dream a reality, to make sure that I'm not, this is like almost the unbusiness school. This is like unbusiness school, breaking normal unbusiness school. This is not about being busy and being putting, put, volunteering to be put under a ploy. This is about really getting true and getting real with what you're passionate about, what your dream is, and making it a reality. If that means getting you in contact with the right people, I might have to do some dog discipline here. This is Araya. You'll get to meet her probably. Our new puppy, and uh, actually the first week, it's probably not by accident she's here, the first week project is going to be with a guy named Dylan Maxwell Blah from uh, an Arizona dog training school. And uh, this will be my, like, my first experiential idea. So it'll be based on this one, it'll be based on the one all in program. He's going to be here for a week at the ultra spiritual headquarters with us, training Araya. And his passion, from my understanding, is basically getting return like rescue dogs trained properly because allegedly about 50 percent of rescue dogs are returned and this is life's passion so we're going to make that gift as valuable as possible and we're going to find a way to get that exposed to as many people as possible and really and really realize that in order to fly around the world or sail around the world or have the internet have these devices that i can speak into and you press one button and you're here with me in order for any of that to had come to reality someone had to first imagine it and someone had to get ballsy enough courageous enough crazy enough to make it happen and that's what i want to do with you so if you think that this is for you uh, about if i go all the way until costa rica i have about 12 spots i believe or 11 and uh, apply email me at 10 all in at gmail.com with a subject one all in, and i'll tell you the details and they'll most likely if you're the right fit you're gonna get um a free international tribe design ticket thrown in with the package that we come up with so only email me if you're serious not if it's like testing the waters thing like i imagine that if this is for you especially with the limited amount of people and a lot of times I've highly questioned if the majority of the population likes to, uh, they want to want more than they actually want to get. So this is not for that person. This is for the person that actually is ready to make it happen and go all in. And if that's you, email me at 10 all in with the subject one all in. That's 10 all in at gmail.com subject one all in and leave me your phone number and we'll make something, we'll make something special happen. We're going to make it happen. That's what this is about. It's making it happen within that week. Peace. 
Hey, my name's J.P. Sears. I've been very blessed to benefit from the gifts of Daniel Eisenman. And my experience is that two of his greatest gifts that have really helped me in my life is the limitlessness of his thinking as well as his willingness to embrace being uncomfortable. Brene Brown has said, he or she who's willing to be most uncomfortable is not only the bravest, but also rises the fastest. Hey, this is Jake Ducey, and I've been really grateful to have the pleasure of being with some of my favorite New York Times bestselling authors and get some amazing mentorship from some awesome people and, and learn, learn some insights that have really helped me in my life. And comparably so, one of my best friends, Daniel Eisenman, has probably been two or three of the most profound inspirations in my entire life comparably so to some of the biggest names in, in the inspiration and motivation industry. And if you haven't yet, I hope you'll take the leap and check out his work. Daniel Eisenman is by far one of the most liberating people that I know. I spent one weekend with Daniel and it completely radically shifted my perspective on myself and my perspective on life. And one of the ways he does that is by his incredible courage to say the things that nobody else is willing to say. Danimal is the real deal. He is a true freedom catalyst. You know what I love about Danimal? I love that he has these amazing ideas, amazing concepts. He's very pioneering in the way that he thinks, but he's not just a teacher. He's a man that wants to experience these ideals and experience these concepts, get his hands dirty with them, and then take us all on that same journey and that same ride. I love that about Danimal. I love that he uh, wants to include the planet on his ways of freedom.